Hello and welcome to our virtual infant tour. I'm Miss Cochran. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I've been the center director here at the Primrose School of Clear Lake since 2018. I'm so glad that you've joined us today because I am so excited to share with you what makes our infant classroom such a special place for babies. To get started, let's take a look at what the classroom actually looks like. When you come inside the door to the classroom and you take a look around, you see an environment that is bright, warm, welcoming, and full of natural light so the baby's developing eyes can better take in with their, their environment. The next thing that I notice is actually the lack of bouncers in the classroom. That's important because it tells you right away that what our infant teachers are doing is paying attention to the children. They are not sitting in the bouncers getting babysat by the bouncer. That the teachers are interacting with the children, making sure they get tummy time, giving them lots of cuddles, lots of love, and delivering our balanced learning curriculum. The next things that I notice are the cribs against the walls here. Um, I noticed that the there's glass dividing the cribs so that there's no exchange of germs between each of the babies. Uh, there's also these drawers. Um, so the, a, the infants are able to bring whatever they need to school and have it on hand so they can always be comfortable. Looking over here, I see the door that actually goes to the outside. Uh, we actually do take our infants outside when the weather permits. It's important for them to get outside, experience that fresh air. Uh, it helps them develop. Looking over here at the changing area, uh, there are a couple neat things to point out. Uh, the first is that every child gets their own cubby and it's right over by where the changing area is so that everything is in hand as the teachers are changing the children. Uh, the other really cool thing is there is this uh, 360 mirror up in the corner which allows the teachers to continue to supervise the children even when they have to have their backs turned but while they're changing diapers. Over here, we have our food preparation area. Uh, there's the fridge uh, where we store all the infants' bottles. Inside that fridge, every child has their own labeled tray so we can make sure that everyone's bottles stay labeled, trapped, and ready to go is when those infants are hungry. Um, we also, there's also the bottle warmers uh, over here. There is one specifically for breast milk and one for formula. Uh, so our classroom really is fantastic. When talking about infants, the next most important thing to discuss is infant care and feeding and our approach to it. So really we view ourselves as an extension of you guys, of mom and dad. Our goal is as infants join us, we take care of the children the exact same way that you guys would at home. If you feed every three hours, we're going to three, feed every three hours. If you pat your little one to sleep, we'll pat your little one to sleep. If you give them a pacifier, we'll give them a pacifier. If you rock them when they're upset, we'll rock them when they're upset. That really helps the children adjust to our environment and get comfortable with their caregivers. It also means that if you have your little one on a schedule, they're going to come home and stay on that schedule so you actually get to sleep at night. The thing that makes our infant program the most unique is our balanced learning curriculum. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a curriculum that we implement with our children. Uh, even at this age, even though they may not be able to verbalize or manipulate as many things around them, they are still observing and their attitudes about learning and their environment are forming right now in infancy. So we take advantage of that and make sure that we're stimulating them and providing them with activities that help them learn and grow. The way that our infant lessons work is they're really exploratory. There's something for the child to interact with that the teacher then expands their understanding or knowledge on by providing insight and guiding the child to interact with toys in a specific way. Uh, in this lesson, uh, my friend is playing with the drum uh, and it is a music lesson 
but it's also connected to what the child, what we were learning about in our science and sensory lessons. So we were learning about storms and weather. And so we connected the music lesson and interacting with the drums and the loud noises the drum was making to the loud sounds that storms make. In this lesson, the infants were exploring motion by seeing how different objects went down inclines. The teacher got different objects and put them down the incline and let the child observe. And if the child was comfortable, encouraged the child to try it themselves. This allowed them, the, the teacher to kind of expand on the vocabulary, introduce words like slide and glide, and help the child begin to formulate their understanding of basic physics. Development of fine and gross motor skills is critically important at the infant stage. So our infant teachers meet the children where they are and give them lots of support to help them reach that next motor skill milestone. Uh, that might mean tummy time, that might mean helping them learn to crawl, it might mean helping them practice to stand up, and eventually helping them practice take those first steps. Of course, something that's deeply embedded into all of our classrooms is odd story time. Reading aloud to children is critically important to their developing language, literacy, even social emotional skills. So we read, uh, so we read aloud to our children every day. Thumbs up outdoor time is another really great time to support those gross motor skills. So when we make it out there, we really help the children practice whatever it is that they are working on. We also support sign language in our infant and toddler classrooms. Sign language is crucial to the bond between infant and caregiver because the attitudes about teachers and authority figures are actually formed right now in infancy. So teaching infants ways that they can communicate really helps the teachers meet their needs and establish trust between infant and their teachers. If the infants know they can sign milk and be given milk, it really eases their anxiety because they know their needs will be met promptly. I also want to talk to you about our parent communication app, ProCare. ProCare is really neat because it is all in one. It allows you to see information about your child's day, it allows you to see billing information, and it even allows for two-way communication between you and your child's teacher. As a parent, when I open my ProCare app, what I see are the activities that my child has done most recently. Here, it looks like my kitty had a nap and had a photo taken. Uh, and then I can see that the teacher sent a note and that she did an activity with sensory play. I can also see that she had a bottle and drank five ounces uh, earlier this morning as well. Something really cool about ProCare is that it is live and parents do get real live, uh, real time updates. So when you get an update, you get a push notification. You can see the ProCare icon up here in the corner. Uh, and when you look at that icon, it will tell you what happened. Uh, so I see that Zena took a nap. There is also two-way communication between you and the classroom teacher. If you have any questions or if the teacher needs to communicate something with you, you can send a message and the teachers are able to respond. When I receive an invoice, I get an alert at the top of my dashboard up here. It shows what I owe. From there, I can go to my transactions page and take a look at what I'm being charged for, make a payment. Our infant classroom is a really special place and we would love to have your little one join us. If you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out so we can schedule a time where you can come and see our classroom in more depth. Of course, space is filling up fast. We do only have eight places available in that infant classroom. So if that is something you are interested in, I encourage you to reach out as soon as possible. Thank you so much.